Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Another video where it kind of only was a matter of time. We're talking about marathon. Jumbo day date, certainly not a watch for everybody. Jumbo day date in white dial. So in case you're unfamiliar with kind of the lineage that's going on here, uh, they're what I would say probably their most popular model, their GSAR, uh, the WW194006, 41 millimeter kick butt watch, 300 meters of water resistance, always available in just a black dial. And then a couple of years back, they introduced that guy in a white dial, did the same to the TSAR, which is the quartz version of that watch. And then they went into the midsize, which was your WW194026027. Those are conventionally only black dial. Did those in white dial. So again, only matter of time. Jumbo day date coming at you in white. For my own wrist check, I am still sporting same watches. Islander Sands Point ISL 159 with that cool blue dial, titanium case, titanium clasp, fitted rubber strap. Just, uh, oh, just so comfortable, so awesome. And on my other wrist, I'm still, uh, still range mastering it from, uh, we had the TGV collab that came out not long ago with Squale. So kind of just honoring that moment with uh, my own collab that I did with him. Uh, but that's it. Let's check out uh, this monster of a watch. Okay, so here we go. Here is the new Marathon Jumbo Day Date. No, it's not. You know it's not. Because there's no day and date. This is it. No, this is the G-Star. This is the 41. I figured it was probably worth it just to bring them all out so you can see. This is the day date. JDD, Jumbo Day Date. So just so you can see them all lined up in a row. You're 36, you're 41, and you're 46. A lot of people shy away from buying the 41 because they think it's going to be too large and they go for this one. And you know what happens? They return this one because it's way too small. It is small. It's 36, but I think just because of this, the uh, proportions of the case, it just appears much smaller. Uh, but here, here's all three of them in a row just so you can see them. But this video is about the day date. A beast of a watch, WW194021. I own a black dial uh, Yamam edition, which is a Israeli Special Forces edition that they made. Um, and me with my six and a half to six and three quarter interest, I do wear it um, on occasion. It is a watch in the regular rotation. So just because it's 46 and it's tremendous and it's thick, doesn't mean smaller wrists cannot wear it. Wear what you, you. Wear what you want, not what society tells you you should wear. Here we go. Powered by a Salita SW220-1, which is sort of like your EDA 2836 with your day and date on the right-hand side. It's a Swiss movement, 26 joules, hand wind, tax, about 40 hours of power reserve. 46 millimeters in diameter, as I already discussed. 18, not 8. 18 millimeters thick to a slightly domed sapphire crystal. There is no AR on the crystal. Uh, Marathon does this to maintain maximum light transmission or legibility. Um, so no AR coating. 55 thick on that lug tip to lug tip. Uh, drilled end lugs for easy peasy strap changes. Solid screw down case back with all the standard marathon government markings, including radiation numbers, their cage code, that's commercial and government entity, stock numbers, all sorts of, whoops, I'm reading it like this, right? You can't see it. All sorts of stuff. It's 300 meters of water resistance, is an awesome screw down crown with amazing knurling that even with gloves is a dream to grip. 22 millimeter strap. This is their new FKM rubber Swiss made strap. Uh, Marathon actually gives you two different uh, lengths of this side. This is the shorter one and then included in the box is the longer one in case you have tremendous, maybe eight and a half, nine inch plus wrists. Beautiful machined buckle. Uh, let's see. 175 grams on the rubber. Not shown in this video will be the one that we're also selling with the stainless steel bracelet, the Marathon fitted bracelet. And that guy, I have my notes, I wrote it down, weighs in at 270 grams on the bracelet. 
Uh, but just to give you kind of an idea of 175 grams, uh, an SKX on aftermarket solid steel bracelet weighs 175 grams. This watch on a rubber strap is weighing 175. So it's pretty beefy. Retails. The MSRP is 2100 on the rubber, 2500 on the steel. Web price on the rubber is 1890. Web price on the steel is 2250. Um, let's see. I think that's most of the notes I want to go over. So, because it's a marathon, you know that it is tritium gas tubes on the hands and markers, uh, and these are self-radiating, if you will, uh, a little bit of. Um, I don't know why I'm a little lost for words. I've said this so many times. Uh, a little bit of tritium inside each vial. It is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen H3. Let's pull up the crown and kind of move the hands a bit. So it's in these little vials. These vials, walls, glass vial walls are coated with a phosphorescent coating. As the material degrades, uh, it pushes off electrons, the electrons collide with the phosphorescent coating and light up the coating to visible light that your eyes can perceive. Half-life of the material is about 12 years. So after about 20 years or so is when they kind of use their useful luminescence. Marathon can retube watches. Um, not many people can because it does require a nuclear license to carry the tubes. Beautiful 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel with amazing bezel, bezel action. Bezel. Bezel action, you can hear it. Uh, black hands, red seconds hand for a lot of pop, and then an inner track of 24 hour time. It is a very deep watch, as you can tell by the 18 millimeters thick. But look at the chapter rings, or the rehort, right? You have stainless steel, and then below that, a ring of uh, the military time scale. Uh, let's see, I'll come in on the back again. I'll just flip it over so you can see it again really fast. So let's really quick just go over the operation. As I mentioned, mentioned, it is a Salita SW220. So screw down crown for 300 meters of water resistance. Unscrew the crown till it pops. I can wind it for my 40 hours of power reserve. Two clicks out, very solid, you heard that. Can change the time. One click out, one direction will change the date and the other direction will change the day. This is a two language wheel. Marathon being a Canadian company. Uh, the two languages are French and English from what I can gather right there, right? It's all a little bit Spanish, but some of the words don't make sense in Spanish, so I do believe it is French. Wind it, screw down, crown, 300 meters of water resistance. Let's do loom. Now on loom, and I always have to say this, on loom you've got Mariglow on the triangle on the bezel and that is their traditional uh, photoluminescent material and then everything else is radioluminescent which is tritium. Uh, photoluminescent stuff glows extremely, extremely, extremely bright when the lights go down but it dies off fast whereas tritium gives a very long lasting glow with no charging necessary. Uh, so when you wake up in the middle of the night and you look at your watch with what I call adjusted eyeballs, you will be able to easily read the time. So without further ado, let's turn off the lights. So here you go. I've brought the camera settings way up um, to be very sensitive to light. As you can see my glove just being illuminated by a little red exit light that's way off over my shoulder. Um, but So you can see the tubes and then you can see the Mara glow at the 12. Uh, so what would happen, and you can see the second hand uh, going around, also the tritium tube. Whoops. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, what will happen over a brief period of time is that the marigold triangle at 12 will quickly dim. Uh, you won't see anything. Uh, and then the tubes will really be the paramount of brightness. But just so you know, here's, light, here's watches that haven't been sitting in the bright lights. And the other two marathons I showed you, they have actually really cool at 12 o'clock. They maintain a, um, what should I call it, uh, an orange tube at the 12, which is super nifty. Uh, they go for a Kit Kat on the jumbo, but you can easily read them uh, with adjusted eyes, no problem. There you go. That's, <laughs> it's amazing the size difference, isn't it? Uh, this guy is, uh, what, 38? Um, so what I'm strapping on now is 46. So it really makes um, a hell of a difference in just in everything. It is a bulky watch, but let's see. So let's get that guy out of there. So again, my wrist is not 
I would say a little bit under what I consider men's average, which is about seven inches. Uh, so about six and a half, six and three quarter, uh, 55 on the lug tip to lug tip. And you could say, yeah, it's a big watch, but it doesn't bother me. You're not going to get a, obviously it's not going to go under a shirt cuff, but it will go under a sweatshirt. Uh, not bad, right? Yeah, like I said, wear what you want, you want. Not what everyone else thinks you should be wearing, but just so you can see on the strap, there I am. It could even go on a smaller wrist, no problem. And they do include that longer strap, uh, strap in case, in case you do require it. And that's going to bring us to the end. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslewatch.com showing you the Marathon Jumbo Day Date with White Dial. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. A little family shot to close it up. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you put it down below and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.